Hi, this is a review of the Zebralite SC64W High Intensity Flashlight. This is a new light Zebralite has just released in November 2018. The XC64 series is the smallest of their 18650 lights. It uses a Cree High Intensity XHP35 emitter. It has a wide range of outputs from a moonlight mode up to about 1100 lumens. You do have to use an unprotected flat top cell, and I list some there that are my favorites. Zebra lights use efficient boost drivers that give you long run times and very flat output, so they don't drop down an output as your battery voltage drops. They have low voltage protection to protect your cells. They have very good active thermal management to prevent overheating. And this light uses their latest programmable user interface. This light provides a really nice tint in a very even beam, so there's no green in it at all. The high intensity emitter provides a slightly smaller diameter hotspot for this light compared to the regular lights, but it's not, uh, I wouldn't consider it a throwy light, it's definitely on the floody side. I won't go into the user interface too much here, but basically you hold down the switch to rotate between three modes, low, medium, high. You have secondary modes, which allow you a little bit different outputs. Uh, you can click off, uh, click on for high, double press for uh, medium, long press for low. You got four clicks to check the batteries. You have three clicks for various kind of strobes, which I like to program in as a very low output, slow flash because I hate strobes. Uh, overall, the user interface is a great once you get used to it. It is for flashaholics or it is for people that actually want a lot of control over their light. But one of the nice things about their new user interface, which is a fully programmable interface, is you can set this light up to be very simple. If you only want one mode, you can set it up so that you click to get to that mode or long press to get to that mode or whatever you want. And so you can actually program this light and it has different groups that you can set up uh, for different programs. And um, in that way, you could actually program a very simple interface for somebody that just wants to use the light in one or two modes, for instance. At some future date, maybe I'll do a video about how to program zebra lights, um, but for now it would make this video too long, so I won't go into it. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show in this video is a comparison with some of the other zebra lights. In particular, the SC600W Mark IV high intensity light, which is really their mini thrower. And I bought this light originally to maybe replace that uh, larger light the SC600, which is a fairly bit larger as you can see here. So I wanted something maybe a little smaller, a little bit easier fit into your pocket, but still would give some good throw for outdoor use. I don't find that's the case with this light. This light um, has a slightly throwier beam than their usual ones, but not significantly throwy. It, it, it's fine for outdoor use, but it's not what I would consider a light for long distance use. So I think I'll still continue to use the larger SE600 for outdoors and I'll use this light for an everyday carry light. It is good for outdoors, but it's also good for indoors. Now here I'll just compare it to their regular smaller lights. In this case, it's an SC52, uh, um, but the SC64 uses the same size lens and the same uh, size emitter. So it's, it, it has a same 12 degree hotspot. So as you can see, they're very similar. Um, the 64W high intensity has a slightly smaller hotspot. What I really like though is the tint. There is no tint shift using the high intensity emitters and they produce a really nice even beam. One really nice thing about Zebra Light lights is their thermal management system. It kicks in at about 55 Celsius, although that is a programmable amount as well, and it prevents the light from overheating beyond that point. It's very gradual. You won't see it happening in normal use. You have to really look for it. And the light will gradually ramp down if uh, to prevent overheating. And you can actually get it to raise the output again if you grip the light tightly and absorb some of the heat out of the light into your hand. This is a very small light, it's very light, so it doesn't absorb a lot of heat in the light itself. So I notice it starts to kick in at about one minute, you'll start seeing the thermal controls kick in. On the larger SE600s, it's about three to five minutes, so you get quite a bit more runtime and maximum with the larger lights. But you know, this light is a small everyday carry light, you're not gonna be using it for 
on maximum for long periods of time. It's not really meant for that. I wanted to show the low moonlight of this light. For a while, zebra lights started increasing the lowest levels of their moonlights, uh, especially with their larger lights. This light, I find, has about um, half or a third of the output of the moonlights for the SC600 series. So it's actually quite a nice low uh, moonlight level again, and I, I like that. Another thing they've changed here is to start using a spring again in the tail cap of the light. Um, in the larger lights, the SC600s use pogo pins, which you can see down there. Uh, the, those are very small pins used to make uh, strong contacts with batteries. Uh, but people were finding that with pogo pins on both ends, it could dent batteries if you drop the light onto a hard surface like concrete. I haven't found that problem, but some people did. So maybe they've uh, started putting the springs again in the tail to help address that problem. Okay, it's outdoor beam shot time. First, I'll just show you the SC64W High here with its 11 degree hotspot. You can see actually it's quite useful outdoors. I think even though it's more floody than I expected, it is very useful. It projects a fairly long way and the beam is actually quite nice. Here is the SC600W high intensity light with its smaller hotspot. You can see it does throw further. It has a narrower beam. I like this for outdoor use because you can see quite far with it, but for a general purpose light, the uh, SC64 High, back here again, it, it is more useful as a general purpose light. Uh, here I'll just show you the 12 degree hotspot, which is what Zebra Light uses in most of their small lights. Um, you can see it's, it is more floody than the, the SC64 High um, and gives a kind of a, a wider beam. Um, so generally, I really like zebra lights. They are my favorite design. I like them because they are so small and light and have a really high output for such a small light. Their user interface is great. And I like the fact they're so efficient. As far as the cons for this light, the only one I can think of is that being a small light, it heats up really fast. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.